Hi, well it's uh, been a while since I've done a video. Um, just bought some new toys, thought I'd give you a quick introduction. Um, so I've got the Easy Pick Fusion version, version 7. Uh, this is a, a 9A or A9 screen. Uh, this is actually currently running the DS Pick 33 EP. Uh, now I've left uh, this, this, this first demo program on. Uh, after seeing the pictures on Microelectronica site or various other sites where you can buy these uh, these boards and screens and uh, picks, um, they show you nice, powerful colour colour images. So when I got home, apart from it didn't work for a few hours because software glitch where the screen had been changed, um, I thought I'll yeah I was disappointed to find this was the demonstration program. Just microelectronica, a couple of lines, and it says test. And oh no, I've changed it from other word text, but no, no touch screen um, incorporated on that demo. Anyway, that's uh, just a, a crappy, crappy demo of of their first program when you've spent about 120 pound on this board and 140 odd or more are on DS Pick software. 140 odd quid or maybe a bit less plus 40 pound import tax they use DHL and DHL are favourites for pulling you up on import tax 40 pound and 18 pence I paid import tax for the DS pick software right I'm just going to swap this over uh, put another put another DS pick chip in which I've got pre-programmed with a load of pictures just to show you the speed right I'll turn this off and or pause it and back in a minute Right, uh, I've just swapped the chip over. Uh, swap the chip as opposed to programming. It takes forever to program these because I've got uh, these quite large files. Um, it takes forever to program. Uh, I just figured uh, swap the chip over. It's easier. Well, what I've done, uh, they uh, apart from they, yeah, you've got to buy this Easy Pick uh, Fusion version seven. You've got to decide what uh, micro microcontroller you want. Fusion 7 comes with this uh, 320 by 240 colour screen, which is actually quite nice. Um, well, this program at the moment is running the default, uh, running at the default speed. So all that DS pick is cocked at 140 megs. Just trying to look for the program. Um, the Watchdog, you can the Watchdog uh, post scale or pre scale is set at one to one, but you can up it to something like 128. Uh, and it does increase the speed a small amount. Um, where they catch you is to import pictures, unless you've got some clever software, uh, and stick it on an SD card, which is micro SD cards there. Micro SD card slot up there. Uh, that's EEPROM, audio chip, all the buttons and LEDs down the bottom, USB, Ethernet. Right, I'm back. Right, yeah, where they catch you is, um, unless you've got the software to import images, you still have to buy their uh, visual TFT. Uh, it's about um, £56, about $99 comes out to about £56, and they send you a license key. Only thing is, if uh, you want it on another PC, I, I don't know if you have to get another license key. All the other software I've got, I've got Micro C Pro for PIC32. £170 worth of software. Micro C Pro for DS Pick, that's a dongle for that. Uh, on my machine at the moment, I've got Micro C Pro for Pick, which I'll just use with the version 7 board. I've got another dongle somewhere. Here it is. Uh, that was the first dongle for the Visual GLCD, uh, which I stopped using, don't really use it. Anyway, yeah, want to, um, so you've got a Buy the visual TFT if you want to import uh, ready-made JPEGs. Uh, yeah, the board's £120. Farnell in the UK or Leeds. Pop along and see their trade counter. They will they can supply you one of these for £120. Uh, save you on the import tax. Uh, as I say, you have to spend about £20 on one of the DS picks. But one of the sales women at... Microelectronica said you must try the DSPIC33, the EP chip, 
uh, very powerful. So it's 16 bit running at 140 megs. I'd already purchased the Micro C Pro for PIC 32. And there's my dongle as proof. Uh, 170 pounds worth of software. The Micro C Pro for PIC 32 is obviously a 32 bit architecture inside the PIC. So I thought, how can 16 bit architecture be quicker? Well, it isn't. This is run a DSP 33 EP, and you've seen by now how quickly that screen refreshes. Now I'll put my 32 PIC in there if I can find it. So one's a 32 and what another one's another EB33. Right, back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Um, what was I doing? Put my 32 bit chip in there. Uh, I've been working on the clock. Um, unfortunately, Microelectronica have decided to go to uh, a Philips RTCC chip real time clock calendar. Uh, so I made up my own board because I couldn't establish uh, which one I should get from Microelectronica. Uh, but I know I didn't keep them. I'll leave this on here for a second. Um, I'm going to do another video in a minute on how to get the uh, this chip and the code actually working. It's the Philips PCF8583. Right, so what I've done, these are large pictures, clearing the screen. And you can see how quickly that's updating so this 32-bit chip. Uh, more expensive software, but it's far quicker than the DS pick. So the DS, uh, digital signaling, I don't know if that's it's sort of in its league for doing certain digital processes. But this 32 meg, uh, sorry, 32-bit um, chip. I'm trying to think what one. Let me just pull up this software and I'll tell you it's the P32X795F512L um, running at 80 megahertz that's to say 32 bit architecture uh, so just wait for this these pictures to come up again well so I'm clearing the screen so not giving an unfair advantage by just refreshing the same picture and you can see it's vastly superior far quicker than the DSPIC 16-bit so obviously this DSPIC 16-bit and the PIC24 they're both 16-bit architecture this PIC32 is obviously 32-bit and then you go back to the early version 7 easy PIC version 7 just 8-bit so pretty cool